Well, joining me now on set is O. Marshall. He's a professor of security and military studies at the Doha Institute for Graduate Studies. Good to have you with us uh, on the programme. Benny Gantz hasn't gone to Washington, D.C. just to shake hands and just to talk about the day after. He's got to talk about the here and now, and that includes the, the debate over arms and ammunition. It's a, it's a fight that the president is still having with Congress. Absolutely. I think uh, what will happen is probably he's going to ask for a bit more of military assistance, uh, especially in uh, they have shortages in uh, artillery shells. They have uh, some worries about uh, air defense munitions. Uh, and they also uh, may need some armor as well in terms of uh, infantry fighting vehicles and uh, armored uh, personal carriers. So they may uh, require some of that. And um, I think uh, uh, he will be asking for that. And it makes sense because if the truce, um, if, a sea, if some sort of a truce ha has happened uh, or was successful, uh, I think what we'll, we will see is a bit more of uh, uh, reconstitution of forces, uh, reparation of uh, some of the, um, uh, the armored vehicles, as, and also uh, uh, rearming them in, uh, to be much more effective in the next round. Indeed. I mean, there is a, a very interesting comment being made by a senior U.S. official, uh, John Ford, I think it is, um, and he says, and we quote, uh, I've seen Israel humiliate previous U.S. administrations, but aside from murderous 1967 Israeli airstrike against the U.S. Navy ship Liberty, now forcing the USA to do airdrops of aid to Gaza as if the USA is no better than Egypt and Jordan, is Israel's worst humiliation of USA I have ever seen. It's a damning statement to make at such a sensitive time. Yeah, yeah, he's referring to the 8th of June 1967 attack on the uh, USS Liberty, which killed uh, tens of uh, US sailors. Um, and uh, there was a big debate about it, was it a mistake or were the, uh, the Israelis trying to blind the Americans from what they're going to do to Syria in terms of occupation of the Golan Heights and uh, moving on. And of course, they paid some, uh, they apologized and paid uh, some um, uh, reparations. But that attack uh, killed more US sailors than Al Qaeda did in, in, in the attack on uh, on USS Cole in 2000, so it was it was a significant hit. But also in terms of the uh, uh, of uh, what he's referring to, yes, it's it's uh, it's not even a an attempt to uh, get US aid by land or by sea or even via Israel. Uh, but it's an it's an airdrop uh, as the uh, helpless uh, Jordanians and Egyptians are doing. Indeed, Robert Ford there, of course, uh, is a US former diplomat. It's interesting that diplomats are saying what they are saying at the moment, even if they are former administrators for the moment. Uh, Omar Shaw, thank you very much.